Hello everyone, welcome to today's video and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial on how to do a more advanced warping command. It's not necessarily a warping command, it's more of a technique that will help you be able to do um, better warps or at least make it more easy on yourself because I know um, for for example the world I'm about to enter which was built by a build team called Imperial RPG but they I do not think they exist anymore. I think they have sort of disbanded and um, they don't really get on the world as much as they used to. And then this section of the world was built by a different build team called um, By the Square. Um, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about this sort of the warping that they used, which I think um, at the time there was not structure blocks. And I'll be showing you the very efficient technique of using the structure blocks for this. Now, obviously, what they did here, because they have so many sections that you need to teleport to, they did the obviously the best choice, which is create a spawn and have all of your teleporters listed around the entire spawn. And you can just fly over and choose where you want to teleport to and then teleport to that section of the map. Of course, that is probably the most efficient thing to do when you have so many different sections of the map. However, for most players, you won't necessarily need to do that. What you will probably have is something along this right here. You just have a list of a bunch of commands in order, like what we have here. However, if you want to add a new section to this, and you have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five sections, which I think is a reasonable amount of sections to have in Minecraft, especially since you can have eight people, uh, definitely possible that each person might want a section, so it could be eight. You would have to teleport to each individual one and put in a command for every single one. Now, what if you don't really want to do that? Well, there's obviously a very easy way of doing it with structure blocks. I'm about to show you that in a second. Obviously, this is the teleport command. You should know how to do the teleport command. You should know how to give yourself a command block like that. It's extremely easy and simple. And I'm not really going to go over that because I think that's going to be a waste of your time. This video should be really short. I'm trying to make it short at least. I'm not very good at it. So let's actually get into this. So um, let me get myself a structure block when I fly down. We're going to have two teleporters and we're going to extend it to three. And I'm going to show you the technique that I'm talking about, which is so helpful, which is obviously using structure blocks to your advantage. You probably already understand what I'm going to be uh, doing in a second because this is such an obvious thing. But I haven't really been seeing very many people do this, which is surprising because of how useful it really is. So we're going to have a uh, command block right here, and we're going to go extend that by two, extend that by two, there we go. And now we have our second command block there, and we're going to just do a simple little, we got this over here, we got this one over here, and we're just going to make a little teleporter, you know, real quick, just so, you know, like it actually sort of works, even though it's going to be uh, just teleporting them two blocks apart. There we go, we got this. If you have a keyboard and mouse, you can actually do tab twice to, um, autofill the teleport um, and then obviously so you can just easily just do your tp then at p and then you can just do actually let me see what what first at shows up at a where you can do tab three times there and fill it that way here we go so then um over here shows a list of the different things in order that it recommends that you could put in here now if you tap it once it'll be the first one twice it'll be that one three all the way down it has goes through the entire list so if you just tap it twice, it will recommend you to that one. And if you do that each time, obviously it will just autofill it all in for you. So it's really, really nice. Um, definitely makes it a lot faster. Now with the structure block, this is what we're gonna be doing. So I'm gonna have the structure block placed um, just, I guess right here, it just needs to be some place that's gonna be super easy to get to. And we're just gonna put our buttons on here real quick as well, forgot to do that. Here we go, we got our buttons. Um, I want it to be a bit more fancy than that. There we go, we got our fancy buttons. And now if we save this, obviously it will save. Now you probably already understand what I'm getting at already because this is so simple, um, but I'm surprised less people are doing it. So I don't, I mean, it is simple, but this is something I don't think people have really thought about because you don't think about structure blocks. At least I don't think about structure blocks very much. So here we go. So now we have all, you know, our teleporter and we can teleport to the exact same locations as the other ones do. Even though I didn't show you that they worked, they obviously do work. There we go. Now, obviously, if you want to add in another command into this, we can obviously just do that very easily. Obviously, 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 I keep saying that a lot, don't I? Anyway, so here we go. So now we do that to 10 and then we do that. 
here we go. Now we can set it up a bit more properly so it doesn't have the um, weird dimensions that we have going on. So we have seven, there we go, we expanded it. We can just obviously save it uh, and we can put a button on top of it and this will also save it. Um, but I don't not necessarily, um, a second ago I could not get load to turn on using redstone. I think there's a way, I don't remember how to do it. Um, I don't use structure blocks very often. There we go, so when we load this, it obviously loads in our third one and it will teleport us to the correct location that it's supposed to teleport us to. And you can easily just keep expanding it. And of course, if you just have it, you know, go out to like 100 or whatever, then you could have a very large, well, 64, not 100. You could just have six, you could have a whole lot of teleporters right here. And you could obviously have it as well, like, you know, several blocks thick which is very nice. I think it's something that is sort of unique. I haven't seen a lot of people do this. I'm very surprised. I've seen a couple people and I'm very disappointed. Not really disappointed, but like, it's just so handy. I, I really want to definitely spread this technique of using the warps like this because it's just so useful. You can do so much with this. You can just be able to add as many teleporters as you really want to. And you could just easily paste it down wherever you need it. You can obviously do this with uh, many different things as well from different chests to you know shulker boxes all the different kinds of blocks and it's definitely almost like expanding your inventory for sure. Anyway this should be it. Uh, there's not really anything else I can add to this. It's so simple. It's probably the simplest command block tutorial I have ever done or I guess structure block tutorial in this case. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'm hoping to see this in more worlds as time goes on, especially because it's so useful. Anyway, hope you had a great, wonderful, sublime day, and God bless.